Guys, it's time to drop two teeth off that pinion gear. 22 teeth, which is phenomenal. I got like 60 miles per hour. I'm going to a 20 tooth. Hopefully get a little bit lower motor temperatures, a little bit better run time, but it's got to be able to wheelie. So we're about to find out. Take a look. This is the difference right here. There is a difference, especially when it comes to the Mod 1.5. So hopefully I can get a little more run time and uh, maybe lower temperatures. So first up, we got the speed and I'm hoping for around 50. I don't really need a whole lot. So give us a little run. Just wanting to come right up underneath there. Come right past me. And we'll see what we got here. I don't run a, run a wheelie into it. All right. It's definitely slower than what it was. And I'm fine with that. Feels like it's running nice and smooth, that's for sure. Let's see, we got, oh nice, 54 miles per hour. That's dropping two teeth, I mean granted, best I got with this was about 60.2, I believe it was, but that's good, I'll take that. On camera, it probably sounds bad, but it's not loud at all. Guess that's that new pinion gear, huh? So it'll probably break in and start getting a little bit loud. That was a jump that ended the spool right there. <laughs> but I do want to see if I can get a wheelie. Why, yes, it can. Now with the smaller pinion gear, it actually will take off a little bit harder. So getting that wheelie should be a little bit better, but it doesn't have the... the speed aspect of it. Ah, glitters are annoying. Whoa! Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm not trying to break any records, but I do want to hit this thing. That was a nice, nice gradual jump. Wasn't even really on it. It just flies like a 747. Lands like an A370 Airbus? A380. <laughs> I'm not good with planes. Gonna try it again. Sometimes. Nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That was the exact same jump that busted this uh, spool out. Laid off that throttle a little bit on the start, on the landing. Nothing. So bashing around, apparently I have a fan that is not happy. Let's go ahead and get this thing picked up. It's a fan that is not happy at all. Ah, the castle fan is bad. Alright, let me get these unplugged, get a temperature check. Alright, let's go ahead and check real quick. 150, 151, 154. ESC is running nice and cold. Batteries are good. Um, connectors. Ooh, 113 actually. Getting the dot on that thing. That look, that should be a problem there. Anyway, everything looks good. Guess we'll go put it on the uh, Castle Link and see what our amps were and see what we got for data. Okay, let's go and get a quick check here. We got 156, 150. All right, see, motor, a little warm, ESC, not a problem. Batteries are good. Could be my electrical tape because I messed up the outer casing on them. Looks like plugs are coming in at about 110, maybe 109. So, how much? 100. So that's that aluminum center transition transmission case, kind of pulling some of the heat from the motor. That's a good thing. Look at the. Let's look at the data log. I kind of forgot to delete the previous runs, but what that can do, you can look at motor temperature at 180. Uh, motor temperature this time got to about 174. So motor temps were down a little bit. However, we got this right here. Excessive load was detected. So at some point, I uh, had an error in the middle of that. Thought I heard some beeps in there, but eh, it was driving good. So, 
But as far as, uh, I mean, this may have happened back here, but 517.6 amps uh, somewhere. And that was probably what caused this. And it basically shut down. So um, everything looks good. I mean, heck, voltage looks good. The ripple, maximum of only half a volt. Um, let me get down to here. Let's look at the actual numbers right here, guys. So, <clears throat> all right, get away. Anyway, um, yeah, looks like a ripple about 0.48 volts. That's pretty darn good. Current 517 watts, 13,000 watts. Temperature max of the ESC was 154. Amp hours, about 6,320 amp hours or milliamps. The um, motor temperature looks like it maxed at 183, but that was on this run right here, which was a previous run with the 22 tooth pinion gear. So it didn't quite reach that point. But anyway, figured you guys might want to see some of the uh, data logs. It got the wheelies. That's such an important thing for me. Guess it's just my basher mentality, right? But anyway, uh, I got the wheelies, so that was good. Uh, nice big flight. It was not so much of an abrupt jump. It's just kind of sloped dirt more so than anything. Just a nice, simple, gradual just flight ride out there. So uh, tires still doing me good. I have noticed that they really soft. Like if you let this thing sit, It'll just kind of compress and you have like a flat tire, but they're not expanding. They're holding great. Um, no complaints other than that. So anyway, uh, hopefully you saw the data logs. I mean, I did get like 519 amps somewhere. Wow. That was probably for a split second. I mean, look at the wires on the batteries. They're not going to hold 500 amps for very long, right? They can't. They're not big enough, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you liked the video. The 22, the 20 tooth pinion gear is going to stay, uh, seems to run just perfect. So guys, check that description. I'll link up the pinion gear, the tires, the motor, the ESC, the servo, all that wonderful stuff is down below. So make sure you check that out. And guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.